Ladies and gentlemen, it's a great pleasure for me to address you here at the Michelin Challenge Bibendum, even if we must rely on ICT for the opportunity. And all of us know that road mobility is a source of great prosperity and cultural legend. But too often the other dimensions of its impact are lost. It's not glamorous to think about our cities as theaters of traffic chaos or the scenes of terrible accidents. But as someone who has been the transport minister, I feel strongly that we have a duty to look at all those issues. We must improve urban quality of life and protect our natural environment. My message today is that you can make a big difference with your ideas and your energy. Your work to promote and showcase alternatives for better transport is quite inspiring. I'm excited by the chance to support you and share the EU's plans with you. The recently adopted new European transport policy for 2020 sets ambitious transport and mobility objectives. It is fully complemented by my own work with the Digital Agenda for Europe. ICT really is at the heart of transport's next leap forward. The EU's renewed transport policy consists of 40 concrete initiatives. We are saying yes to the mobility that will fuel new growth and new jobs. And we are saying that we have to cut transport carbon emissions by 60% by 2050, as we do it. This very ambitious, but with good use of ICT, it really can be done. Just think about how far we have come in recent decades. In safety, we have seen seat belts, airbags, anti-lock braking, and recently a growing number of advanced vehicle safety systems that make good use of ICT. On emissions, we greatly reduce the carbon footprint of production and of vehicle use through advanced traffic management, for instance. We may never get to zero accidents and zero emissions, but this should be our ultimate goal. It's the right thing, and every step forward will be appreciated by citizens and give new opportunities to our industries. This will require a very broad understanding and use of ICT. Think, for example, about how we can use ICT to underpin mass electro-mobility. Investing in ICTs underpins the recent advancements in cooperative systems and will chart the course for making full use of wireless technologies in the mobility systems of the future. We will also need to harmonize standards and use ICT to capture and embrace the knowledge and habits of users of transport systems. On all those fronts, I want to assure you that the European Commission is working to accelerate progress. If we can break the current speed limits, so much the better. And I wish you good luck for the conference.